Hello, this is Saul, and here is another demo of Visidata. I was inspired by Drawill to have Visidata include graphs, and so I got that going. This is, uh, let's start with the crime rates in the last 50 years from the US, the data set I picked up from Kaggle, I think. And um, if we wanted to graph just a single column, we can turn it into a number with the number sign, an integer and then press M to graph it, and you can see the points plotted there, and then the, the row number is the x-axis. If we wanted to make the x-axis be the year, then we would turn that into a numeric column, make it a key column, and then back here, and now that's the year, or the x-axis down below. We do have several columns here. If we wanted to make them uh, graph them all, we can go to the column sheet here, and then G, number score, number sign, makes them all ints. And then we can go hide the large ones here, and then GM graphs everything. And uh, the legend is obscuring part of the graph, so double W toggles the labels. So that's uh, the basics of graphing. Um, let's look at a larger data set. I have this uh, federal employee salaries data set. Um, we can browse this. So for instance, it has 1.3 million rows, but um, of all federal employees. And so here's the pay grade. Let's make that be the x-axis and then plot the base salary on the y-axis. And you know, this is, because of so many rows, I'm going to make just a random population of 50,000 of them. And then we can plot that. So that's the general lay of the land there. And if we go back to this sheet, I'm actually going to drop that and go back to the original sheet here with all 1.3 million rows. I want to actually do a frequency analysis on the job titles so that we can get just for one field the spread here. Let's try nurses. And actually I know that there's a couple of different types of uh, nursing professions here. Let's just select all the ones have nurse in them. So nurse, practical nurse, nursing assistant, nurse anesthetist, right? And so if we go back to here, we've got, uh, oh, so we can see down here that they've been selected in the main sheet. And if we press quote, double quote, we pull them all if off into their own sheet here, and then we can graph those. And so that would be our base salary and pressing M. And here's the nurses thing. And so we wanted to actually compare the two of these. We got the graph of the sample and of the nurses. And we can just swap between them. And so here's the from 0 to 15 on the x-axis. So we're basically only looking at that first eighth of the whole thing. There's a lot more uh, ranks, grades, overall than there are just in nurses. Anyway, so that's that. And uh, finally, if we wanted to look at one, uh, one more thing, we're going to construct some data just to play with. We want to just play with some math formulas. This is going to look at the sine and cosine, which is a classic graphing task. So let's make this be the angle we're going to do and make it be 360 rows. This is the GA command, adds just blank rows. And then GZ equals sets them to a range or some kind of Python list and so we'll make that be a number and then we'll make a cosine of theta and that a number. If we graph this now we're gonna see that it does not actually look like a sine or a cosine but it does look pretty and that's because the theta, this function does not take degrees it takes radians so we'll have to make this be degrees and then we'll say degrees times 2 times math.pi divided by 360. And so now we have those degrees. Let's make that be called rad. No, theta. Right, we already got that used. OK, and then we'll hide that and make this be a key column and then graph it. And there we go. There's cosine. And if we go back out here and make there be a math sign. Similarly, there they are. Math, sine, and cosine. So that's uh, the basics of the
graphing functionality that's in Visidata. And uh, if you do like Visidata and do use it, please do subscribe to the newsletter on the visitdata.org. I'll see you next time.